Hey guys, what's up? I am the Stormchild. So today I will check out a brand new song. I think it came out today and I just saw that that wasn't the plan, but I'm absolutely interested to check it out. I'm talking about Timo Toki's Avalon and I checked out the first single here um, for the upcoming album, which was for me a bit difficult, especially when it comes to the sound of it. Uh, maybe you saw that reaction video, if not you can find it on my channel. It wasn't that long time ago, so it will be easy. And for me it was a cool song and everything, but I had this problem with the sound. Uh, I think uh, from the rhythm guitar sound. And so I'm absolutely curious how this will work out in this one. Um, so I love Timo Tolki as songwriter. I talked about him a lot in the last video. Um, so I just want to listen to the new song. It's called The Fire and the Singer and it's featuring Jake E. Uh, He's the former singer of the great band Amaranth and what is the name of his new band? Syra or something like that? If I'm wrong tell me that in the comments. And featuring uh, Britney Slays and honestly I have no idea who she is. Um, maybe I know the band or something you can tell me that as well in the comments would be interesting because yeah to know who she is, but maybe I will recognize her when I see her, because you can't know every single name of every singer in this uh, metal universe. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just want to listen to the song, um, hopefully it's going to be great, hopefully the sound is going to break, uh, be great and a bit more for my taste. Let's see, let's hear, and with that said, let's do it. We came in. One gentle summer Lies are killing him Knows he took a vow of silence But he is damned for life She gives him her love so tender These thoughts he cannot hold
Alright, I think the song is over. So yeah, um, yeah, that was surprising because I haven't expected some kind of a ballad. It was some kind of between of a mid-tempo number and a ballad. So nothing wrong with that. I just expected something more heavier this time because usually bands release the ballad or the more calm song as the third single. I have no idea why, but that is usually the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, but uh, I like this a lot more than the first one. I can tell that already for many reasons, but I have to start with the negative thing. And that was this way too fast fade out. Damn. So I'm not the biggest fan of fade outs. Um, if they are done great, they are great. <laughs> but that is the problem because it was way too fast. I think if they turned it out 10 seconds more or 20 seconds more maybe, it would turn out to be a bit better. Uh, but that is um, the only negative thing about that when it comes to my taste. Uh, because yeah, it was just like, like they were in a hurry or something. It was just a bit curious. But anyway, um, the rest of the song was pretty great and I can say I'm really impressed by the vocals of Jake E. Uh, and I think one of the best vocal performances I've heard of him um, entirely. <laughs> Honestly, so I, I haven't listened to every single song he ever sang on, but that was absolutely fantastic. I love his voice and the combination of the song. So uh, I think when Timo Tolki has written this song, it was just that uh, he, he has chosen the perfect singer for it. It was uh, really amazing. So especially in the beginning, it was just like, oh damn, this is so cool and so unusual uh, when it comes to what I've heard from Jake E in his other bands. That is, I think, the main reason, because I'm su surprised, but it was absolutely fantastic. Also, uh, the melodies. So when it comes to uh, the chorus, I wasn't so sure by the first time, but uh, I really liked it while listening to it a few times in, in the song, because I just also haven't expected this kind of a chorus. I have no idea why. And also the combination with the female singer. So um, I think I've seen her face before, but I still don't know uh, in which band or, or something. Please tell me that in the comments would be pretty interesting. But I, I, I think I saw her face before. It, it's, it's just something when you look at her, it's just like, oh, damn. Yeah, but maybe you know that feeling. Also, the combination um, of these both uh, absolutely worked. Um, I think for me it wasn't mm, that needed just because the vocal performance of Jake was so fabulous and of course I like these duet things, don't get me wrong, and she also did a great job on this song. It was just like he was so damn on point from the beginning and maybe that's the reason because I was so into his voice. Uh, but it was nice, it definitely worked these voices together. An interesting song. Um, great melody, so this time also I have nothing against the sound, so this was, of course, not um, as focused on a rhythm guitar as the last one, uh, so it was uh, a bit difficult to compare, but overall I like the sound, especially the bass sound was absolutely amazing, I like this kind of bass sounds, it sounds so cool, especially when it comes to these more calmer numbers. Uh, so. Also, with a cool guitar solo when it comes to Timo Tolki, not the most special guitar solo I've ever heard, but I think that was, is also because you don't need that special guitar solo in uh, such of a song and also when you have such great singers and a great chorus, so you know what I'm talking about. Also, the video was okay. Um, I think it was a, a classical virus video where everybody shoots his part in his own own rooms or something, maybe it has something to do with that or um, yeah, you, you can get the point. But also I have to say, also I said that in the other video, it's so cool to see Timo Tolki, this huge guy, uh, just playing like he's the coolest man on earth. <laughs> it's, it's so great, I love that. Um, so yeah, a cool performance, a cool song, cool sound, what else want I wish for, yeah. A longer ending and that's the only thing but maybe you have um, the same opinion or completely different but I definitely will to the whole album when it comes out because I think there are a lot of 
singers are featured. I haven't checked that out, to be honest. Um, but when it goes like this, I'm absolutely looking forward to this album. So, um, great stuff. Hopefully you liked it too. Tell me your thoughts in the comment. It would be pretty interesting. And, of course, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. It would be even more great for me, of course. And if you want to support me, you can also find a link in the description. Yeah, and hopefully we see us the next time on the Stormchart. Bye.